Today, I'm gonna to share with you the Padlet alternative, ClassPoint, to get live synchronous responses from your audience right inside PowerPoint. Many of the ways that you use Padlet, like brainstorming, discussion boards, class blogs, warm-ups, exit tickets, you name it, you can now do right inside PowerPoint. No need to switch between your presentation and your Padlet just to run activities and read through your students' responses and opinions. So let's dive into ClassPoint and get started. To begin, we're gonna go over all the ways that you can use ClassPoint's short answer question to help you achieve an open space for student submissions. The best part, it's free. So to be able to use ClassPoint and get access to that short answer question, you can sign up for an account and download and install ClassPoint at classpoint.io. Once that's all taken care of, you'll be able to see the InkNo ClassPoint tab here in your PowerPoint ribbon. So we're gonna to need to use these features, but first let's insert a slide with the question we want to ask our students into our presentation. So I do have a template that's already here. Then you can just go ahead and write in your question that you want to ask your students. Now, to make this interactive, back in the class point tab, we'll just click on the short answer icon to add our interactive button onto our slide. If you do want this question to be anonymous and hide those participant names while they're submitting their answers, make sure to check out the customizations here on that side panel. So you can hide those names if you prefer. Now, if you don't have a question in mind, you can always use ClassPoint's AI feature to generate a question for you. You can use this to generate a prompt or that question based on any slide in your PowerPoint deck. So let's pick on a slide that we want to have a question based off of, and then we'll enter our presentation mode. And you'll see the class point toolbar down at the bottom and the AI feature here. So we'll click on that. And before we generate a question, let's go into our options and adjust the question type and the level of question based on Bloom's taxonomy so that we get exactly what we want. So we just want a short answer question and we'll go with a create level here. That way it's a really creative question. So then we can, now we can go ahead and click generate and ClassPoint AI will analyze that slide and come up with a question for you. Once the question is done and written, you can check the suggested answer, or you can generate another question if you don't like the look of that one. This one looks good, so we can just save it as a slide into our presentation. And now we already have the short answer button on our slide. And when we go back into the PowerPoint edit mode, we can completely adjust the slide. That way it matches the design and fits right into our other slides in our presentation. When it's time for class and you want to begin receiving your student responses, enter your PowerPoint presentation mode and invite your students to join the class. To do so, they just need to scan this QR code or go to classpoint.app using any browser on their device and type in the class code that they see in the top corner and their name and they're all set. For them to begin submitting their responses, you must first click on the interactive button on your slide and it'll be opened up for them to begin submitting just like this. Now you have that open forum space to continue on your discussion, collect more feedback and analyze and review all of those responses. So similar to Padlet, you can review all of your student responses in one place and any of these responses can be inserted as a slide in your presentation. That way you can continue on the discussion and even annotate on the slide slide if you need. To take this review and analyzing even one step further, after your presentation, you can click on the reports icon in the ClassPoint tab, and that will open up the ClassPoint web app for you. This web app is one place for you to review all the responses from every class. So we can go into our, our reports page and click on our latest class and the activity that we ran. From here, you're able to review all of those responses and we can even ask ClassPoint AI some more questions to really get the lowdown and analyze all of these student responses. So you can ask this ClassPoint AI any question that you would like for it to analyze and give you a little bit more data on these responses. ClassPoint's short answer question can be used in so many different ways. That was just one, but you could also use it for brainstorming. If you're doing this, make sure to check that multiple submissions. That way students can submit as many things as they can think of. You can use it for warm-ups like analyzing a quote, responding to a question of the day, or building up those classroom connections with two truths and a lie. Exit tickets for quick assessments or checking on their understanding for throughout the whole day. Progress checks uh, for different projects in your classroom, or you can use it for reflections on different events, classroom activities, or assignments and tests. 
And lastly, you can use it as a question box or to get feedback. You can leave the short answer question up if you're doing a school event or on parent-teacher night, or you can leave it up during the classroom to get feedback from your students. Some other most common use cases of using Padlet can be implemented right inside PowerPoint. For example, ClassPoint has a Q&A feature that students can submit their questions throughout class. You can take 10 minutes of time at the end of class to go through all the questions and make sure everything gets answered. Students can also upload media right inside PowerPoint with ClassPoint's video, image, and audio upload question types. If you have some free time, you can allow students to submit funny videos with the video upload feature. Or with image upload, students can submit a selfie and a fun fact. Or lastly, they can also submit a clip of their favorite song using audio record. To learn more about these other features of ClassPoint and how to get more student participation with real-time insights, take a look at the videos here. Thank you all for watching and learning more about this Padlet alternative right inside PowerPoint. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.